Kamel. Um, well, we know Kai from White Ribbon. That was where I seen him. I haven't seen him in anything else. Um, and I think he's done a fair bit of. Do you know why he's done a fair bit of German as well? German features and television. But I knew him from the White Ribbon. And he also works as a house painter. <laughs> <laughs> Yes? I'm just curious as to what both the actors and the director, what inspired you to make this film? What? Why did you go into What inspired you to make the film? Um, I'm going to give it to, this question to Paul Walsh because he actually gave me the book. Um, I had a working relationship with the author of the book, Rachel Seafront in Scotland, and she passed me the manuscript for Loa um, just prior to its publication. And I read it and I was really moved by the plight and for the dying of these children. So um, uh, sometime later I was lucky enough to meet Kate when Somersault played at um, the Edinburgh Film Festival. I had the book at that point, I had some money to go to script with Robin and I saw Somersault and I felt when I saw that that Kate might be somebody who could uh, relate to the material or could engage with the material. And um, luckily enough, at the Australian end of the equation, Liz had passed the book to Tony, Kate's partner, so it was in the house. And uh, so she arrived home, I think, to Australia with a copy of it, to find a copy of it on her shelf. And there was a lot of synchronicity, I think, between, the, between all of us around the story and what it was about and what it meant. And uh, we, we built it from there. Thank you. Yes. Yes, the audio is definitely as good as the visual. It's right up to that standard. Um, how soon in the in production, in the production schedule, did you get the audio in this? And something about how that works. I plan for sound when I'm shooting. So I have dinner or I have a coffee with the sound designer before we shoot. So before I left for Germany, um, Sam Petty had the script and then he'd read the script and we'd talk about the way we're going to go and it was the same with the music. Um, I knew that I wanted to look at uh, 1930s composers so we looked at Karl Orff who was a German composer. He composed for the 1936 Olympics and we looked at um, Penderecki who's very popular at the moment. Um, and we ended up having a big, old, classic, classic sound design, classic score. The sound designer said it was quite funny. He said it was like a Western. Because <laughs> when a door slams, you really hear it. And, yeah. On the use of silence. You know, yeah. Well. It's, got a, it's got a huge scope in the sound design. He's a, he's a fantastic sound designer. He yeah. works with Liz a lot and with me on both our films and with my husband. Super. Awesome. <laughs>